this royal family structure is similar to the structures that we on an individual level have built in our own societies if that makes sense so it's not too far removed from the experiences we might experience on an individual or holistic level so there's the independent there's the the women factor it's not only it's not excluding men as well but i'm connecting it to um international women's day so there's the women factor independence wanting uh equal space to be able to contribute in a positive way without feeling minimized voice wise then there's the cultural and there's the traditional and then mental health and well-being which can affect us um in similar ways but differently just wanted to connect with you today uh following the story on megan and harry talk about what resonated with me linking it into uh women's international day yesterday and being uh being a woman yes i watched uh megan and harry's uh story personal story life challenges etc and uh based on that what resonated with me is that regardless of who they are as people there's something that connected uh or could resonate with anybody so where i'm starting off with number one is about three women and these three women are princess diana fergie and then megan all three women who experienced challenging circumstances regardless of whether they voluntarily chose to be in that situation or not but were all uh in a similar way uh calling out for help needing support in relation to their mental health conditions and also complex situations which impacted to them feeling um suicidal tendencies or other type of challenging um mental health related conditions such as eating disorders as well feeling alone etc then number two what resonated with me was also about uh, culture and tradition and then um, number three is about mental health okay so going back to these independent women i'm looking at them as independent women because they are they all symbolize personalities that were it may be due that to the reason that they weren't born in the obviously they weren't born in a royal family or brought up in that way this is what made them more independent um and that in itself became a conflict and that can also apply across the board in other uh lifestyle aspects whether you're a royal or not as a woman when you are trying to express your views or speak up it might be in the workplace it might be on your entrepreneurship journey that's what resonated with me most is that these three women could have contributed and done great things in terms of representing in their leadership roles whether i agree with the monarchy or not at this point uh for me it's irrelevant i understand the complexities i understand like the dynamics of what's going on but we will never know not being in their shoes what i'm focusing more is about personality traits of people and how we can easily be impacted and be stuck in certain situations uh due to our upbringing our personality our outlook in life and how that can be perceived by other people externally and then there's also another aspect of being stuck in something so the this is where i i came into the cultural and the traditional aspect of it so the cultural and traditional the monarchy is rooted in that and that can also apply in other aspects of life as well if you're married into like a traditional family or you're brought up in a traditional culture uh where you feel like you can't get out of like certain circumstances you end up becoming depressed you may end up feeling lonely feel like you have uh, no one to turn to or you may feel as though you want to break away from a certain situation but you're not due to fear of what other people might think and that extends into various avenues as well you can be somebody who's uh, considered a public figure somebody who's um who is like a celebrity somebody who is um, an influencer somebody who's a tv presenter i'm just giving you uh, <laughs> uh headings here headings which suit and resonate with who you are as a person 
and in this world and how people may perceive you due to uh, your background. And this is resonated with me. Because the cultural thing being in particular that there was the thing brought about um, Archie's uh, skin color, what he could potentially look like. That is not too surprising because it still happens in cultures which are embedded in traditional practice where if somebody else regardless of whether they're royal or not if somebody else marries outside of their family there are questions and i've heard people say uh from let's say i'll just give you um, uh, an example indian marrying like a, a black person arabic indian or whichever di dynamic you you want to put in there there are some cultures who still believe that or are concerned about the race of the of their partner concerned about uh, what the baby will look like so it was not surprising for me uh, that the royal family is not in a unique position because this is something that happens on an individualistic level in other cultures and in people's environments as well and then the what i talked about before about an independent woman going into different environments and wanting to be able to speak up or contribute in some way and then you're shut down due to having different views due to having like a different outlook um then the last one that i wanted to bring up was about mental health what struck a chord for me and what stayed with me is um itv okay so I, just before i hopped on here if you don't know what itv is it's basically a tv channel here in the uk if you're not in the uk and uh, in the UK, we pay a TV license. So we are licensees. And on ITV, there is a campaign uh, which is Be Kind. And it's um, um, raising awareness about uh, bullying. And it's also related to like mental health conditions, okay? Uh, so what struck me was that one of their presenters, Piers Morgan, was allowed or given the platform and continues to be uh, given the platform where he's presenting from a perspective of bullying of not believing a woman regardless of whether it's uh, megan or not who has stated that they've experienced uh, what is it a mental health condition a challenging and a challenging and life-changing circumstance mentally which has resulted to them feeling uh, suicidal then the presenter in being given that platform to say that she needs to prove it or she's uh, making up uh, her story or she needs to prove who she has spoken to okay you can always google it you'll find out information to me that struck a chord a nerve in terms of how appalling it is and anti the the channel's uh, campaign and their motivating factors be behind it. So in regardless of whether it's Megan or not, those type of messages, not only limited to the, to the TV station itself, can also happen in other environments as well, where to me, I felt like that just amplified everything, that there are people during the pandemic who have been going through, and you might be one of them, through very challenging circumstances which have impacted on your well-being and mental health. And if there's somewhere where you go and you watch some of your favorite programs and a person you might watch uh, or follow is being told or questioned about their mental health condition, that amplifies across the board. Uh, my belief is that if you put out a campaign you should be promoting everybody across, you should be supporting everybody across the board regardless of their background because you never know how many people, especially in the UK and globally as well, are being impacted by uh, suffering mental health conditions. And in most countries, we promote mental health awareness, enabling people to be able to speak, okay, to speak about what they're challenged about, okay? And I also believe that uh, regardless of your background, if you say you have, you're struggling, the first thing anybody should ever do is listen to that person. It is not up to me to define somebody else's experience. 
okay and it links back to these three women it is not up to any one of us to define their experience or to explain to them how they should be feeling it's about enabling people to feel empowered to be able to find sources outlets where they feel like they can be able to express themselves and not be judged because just that one individual being able to express themselves magnifies and helps other people who were not able to um, express themselves or to be able to speak up about their own personal circumstance so that one factor stuck with me uh, amongst everything else that was um, discussed um, and it resonated because I've experienced uh, challenges myself with like uh, mental health conditions so I would want to if I was in that situation and I've been in that situation I'd want to be in a situation where if I was struggling I could feel like I can go somewhere and be able to speak to people and I won't be critiqued as a result of that then on an individual level if you're going through these challenges you would have your own personal like therapist if you can not everybody has access to that to for them a professional person to be able to make an assessment and make a judgment because they are qualified to make that judgment on whether you know on how you are feeling okay rather than a tv presenter rather than, than it is the not okay regardless of where you come from to be bullied it is not okay to feel like you're being restricted shut down and not being given a voice to be able to speak up no way you can not no matter where you come from mental health does not distinguish uh who it should impact or not so it doesn't matter whether you've got money or you don't have money and mental health does not also distinguish in your environment so you could be living in a big house or in a small house in a big house and be uh, really miserable have all the, the riches in the world and still be in impacted cognitively and why it also resonated me with me so much as well in terms of the independence of women is that when you're going through a uh, leadership management you're going into, into entrepreneurship or your profile gets heightened more online or offline and you become a public person you're most likely to feel similar pressures okay because you're stepping out of your comfort zone and when you do that you're most likely going to get critiqued uh, judged by people labeled by people incorrectly and it's not limited to somebody who's famous it's very important that as part of women pe people who are involved in supporting women positively is that we continue on a path of supporting other women and lifting them up not kicking them when they're down regardless of who they are because i believe yesterday's story uh resonates with people on so many levels that it's impacted one person or another in some way it might be minute it might be that uh, you've come from a traditional family where uh, things were very tough for you you mar or you married into a traditional family where you feel limited and restricted or you might have you might be somebody who is independent when you speak up you're seen as though you're being too loud you're being too outspoken you're being too expressive uh there's so many other things that you need to be um what is this toned down a little bit in order to fit in in a structural form where it fits people or uh, people in leadership positions or institutions so the institutions could be somebody who is representing you uh, as a public figure or uh, as an influencer it could be in your uh, workplace it could be in any given an environment that looks like similar to the royal family structure and that's what I took away from it is that this royal family structure is similar to the structures that we on an individual level have built in our own societies if that makes sense so it's not too far removed from the experiences we might experience on an individual or holistic level of similar ways but differently that's what i wanted to connect you with on